Hey guys, so our other extra credit opportunity, which was to carve a pumpkin, and of course, um, it was expected of us to not carve a simple jack-o'-lantern or a scary face. So what I decided to do for my pumpkin, I'm actually really sad because I worked so hard on it and it's kind of dead. Um, I did it like four days ago. I guess it's kind of my fault for waiting a little bit longer to make the video. Um, I didn't think it was gonna turn out this ugly. Well, it turned out great, but what I'm saying is that it's like, how do I say it? It's it's done for. Well, here, let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, I'll, of course, I'll attach some images so that way you can see what my pumpkin looked like the first day. But just so you know, I'm not lying. <laughs> my pumpkin is done for. So I woke up this morning and, and I saw that it was completely rotted. Um, I worked so hard on it. You could see like, okay, what my pumpkin was, it was an owl. You can see the little feathers right here, the lines on the side, and then the pokey of the eyes. And then again, I'll provide you with images. That way you can see exactly what I did. It sucks because I worked really hard on it. And I woke up this morning and it was completely dead. I've never seen a pumpkin do that before. I, I remember when I used to carve pumpkins when I was a little girl and it did last like a good two weeks outside. I don't know. I'm thinking maybe the weather. I have no idea, honestly. <sighs> I just felt like I worked really hard on it and it's just sitting there, filled with mold and ugly. Yesterday it was completely fine. It was still standing. So yesterday I was like, okay, cool. I'll make my video tomorrow. No problem. Nope. I wake up this morning at seven in the morning and it's just squashed. Okay. Anyways. As far as that goes, sorry about that. I just wanted to make it clear that, you know, I worked really hard on this project and I wasn't expecting for this to happen like it did. Okay, so as far as the reason why I carved an owl. So the reason I chose to do an owl as my pumpkin carving was because an owl represents the night, the moon, the stars, just the darkness. And owls live within the darkness, which includes magic, mystery, and ancient knowledge. I love the world. I love the world the way it is when it is nighttime. I'm more of a night person, so I feel that at nighttime all my ideas begin flowing through my head. Like I start brainstorming on my next move. If I next move, as if it has to do with school or work, I'm I'm just thinking. I'm getting all these ideas, and like I should do this tomorrow. I should do this, and then do this to improve this. Um, as far as um, the owl being related to the night, it would be also related to the moon. Owls are also connected to um, the symbolic meaning, um, the symbolic terms of feminine, feminism, and fertility with the moon cycles of renewal, which I found a deep connection to as well because femininity is a major subject of discussion in today's society. The moon cycles of renewal remind me of how us women sometimes go through mood swings during our pregnancy or during um like when we're on our time of our month, you know, we go through those different mood swings and our hormones are reacting to stressful and mysterious, you know, situations and moments. From carving different, from craving different foods as well and feeling fearful of things we never were afraid of when we are pregnant as well and we're, we're time of the month. I know I act a little bit jiffy sometimes, you know, when it's that time of the month um, and I've known pregnant women that they crave things that they've never craved before. Um, even mythology relates to the owl, in which would be like the wisdom and femininity. The owl was a symbol for Athena back in the days, um, the goddess of wisdom and strategy, of course. Before the Greeks gave all their gods human forms, according to the myth, an owl sat on Athena's blind side so that she could see the whole truth. Which brings me to the fact that owls have big eyes and I feel a connection, it, connection to it due to it as well of myself having big eyes. A lot of people tell me, hey, you have really big eyes. Um, well, honestly, the connection I made to it was because big eyes, we expect a big truth and the whole truth, meaning that that's what I feel a deeper connection with the owl because I'm a very, let's say, what's the word? I can be very, can be a very difficult person 
to trust somebody else. So I don't trust easy, meaning I always have my guard up. I'm always looking to the left and to the right. I'm always looking to my back even, just to make sure nobody's gonna come up behind me and give me a surprise or anything in regards with me being unaware of what's going on. Um, and that's basically the reason I chose an owl. Um, I'll provide images, like I said, that way you can see how great it turned out. I worked so hard on it. Like the materials that I used, I had to use my husband's materials to come up with the you know, smaller details, to carve the smaller details. Um, he even helped me with like the sharper tools, of course. So we spent about a good, maybe hour to two hours carving it. And then we opened it from the top and we carved out all the seeds and everything and we left it cleaned. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was difficult. First, what I did is um, my process began with me drawing on the pumpkin. So I drew, I sketched it out with like a Sharpie and then the image, you know, it all came together. And then once I had that image going, that's when we began to carve it. He used, um, my husband was helping me use like this power tool as well. Um, and then we used a knife, um, but it was a really fun process. I really enjoyed um, working with it. Um, and I put a lot of effort into it. I feel, I was really excited when I saw the outcome. It looked beautiful. So look at my pictures, you're gonna love it. Thank you.